guys, how are we all doing? I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Some of you may have seen in my previous video, which was like a vlog. I went into Manchester, I showed you in store in Primark, had a bit of a mooch around town and I did pick up quite a few bits. So I promise you guys a haul next of which this is what I'm bringing you today. So I have a couple of Primark bags um, with bits to show you, sneak peek as to what's to come by. I also have a little something else. My door's just gone. Just one second. Oh dear, it's like Christmas. Okay, well I also have a surprise to unbox. What have we got in here? From Garnier, this is our parcel. I had no idea this was coming. We've got, let's see what this is, a hydrating deep cleanser, gently eliminates impurities, oils and makeup, and a daily UV, 50 plus. Anyway, welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're not already, get comfy, get cozy, grab yourselves a nice cozy drink, let's put our feet up, chill out for these next however many minutes that we spend together, and show you guys some of the new and bits in Primark. Now I did say in my vlog that I think it's definitely a transitional period and I didn't get loads. Definitely not my biggest Primark haul by any stretch. And I think if you hold off a week or two, you might find the stock is better. It's just that in betweeny stage where they had all the summer dresses for sale and all the puffer coats starting to come out, but things I'd recognized from last year. So anyway, from the homeware section though, I saw these two beauties and I've got some hydrangeas, faux hydrangeas on my console table by the front door in like a burnt orangey rusty kind of color, which I thought is perfect for this time of year. You might have seen it in my Decorate for Autumn with me video. Um, I found those in HomeSense for, I think it was, um, I want to say were they about three pounds each? These ones are only £1.50, so I got two of them, and I just thought that was a beautiful colour to have out all year round, and especially in autumn as well. And then another find that I thought was a good one from the homeware section was this thick, chunky, small chopping board. Obviously in the shape of the pumpkin, seasonal, gorgeous, um, quite rustic looking as well. It's not like a perfectly pristine chopping board there's like lots of knots and grooves within it and it a really nice kind of muted not too orangey so really beautiful little chopping board anyway but obviously with the little pumpkin i'm just envisaging hot chocolate in a pumpkin mug with a little cookie or a couple of biscuits or a muffin or something on the side so yeah i've got this for eight pounds oh a chunky knit is this the first chunky knit dress of the year? I think it is. Anyway, in a medium, in this gorgeous colour, it's like an oatmeal beige kind of colour. This one was £17 in a medium and it's just simply a long jumper dress. It is quite long and it does have little slits on the side. So I'm thinking this in the colder autumn days as it gets starts to get a bit cooler to layer up like with boots maybe even a leather jacket thrown on top tights if it's really cold and i feel like you just can't go wrong even for the rest you know around the house with a nice knit dress um and then what else did i get got some cozy socks for the season these were actually called slouch cozy socks so how could i resist these well, I didn't. <laughs> and they were £4.50 for a pack of two. They are super, super soft and just feel like so cozy. Because I find the cozy socks from Primark now, the super fluffy ones, they shed. They never used to, but they do now. So these are far better so that you don't walk around the house and just find little pieces of fluff everywhere. Um, so I've got those. But then I also saw that Rita Ora had brought out these two over-the-knee socks. And these are great for um for welly season i find especially having a dog and being on dog walks every single day super handy to have like a longer sock for wearing with like dewberries my wellies just a long sock <laughs> it will always come in useful in the winter season autumn winter season so these are three pound for the pack of two not as soft and cozy but more of a practical sock i also got wow this looked completely different in store the color of it it looked far more chocolate brown 
than it does here. But do you know what? I actually like this color in person. What, why did it look so different under their lights? Oh, and I've noticed a bit of pulling on the back of these ones. Well, we'll try them on and we'll see how we go. But essentially, they again, yeah, in the camera, I feel like they're coming off kind of like with a brown undertone as well. So I would say these are more of like a charcoal. That's how I would describe them in real life. In a small, I got these ones now, they've stopped doing their small 10 to 12. It's just literally small, medium, large. So I'm assuming small is still 10 to 12. Um, at £12, again, from the Rita Aura range, these high-waisted, um, like, kind of comfy leggings. And these ones have the bit of flare on the bottom. So these ones, I think, would look good where they come with, like, a matching T-shirt, matching long sleeve, a matching zipper, which I did pick up. So I'm thinking that with just a sports bra and this for, like, an errands day or a yoga at home kind of outfit. Um, if I get into these clothes on a weekday when I'm working from home, I find I have a far more productive day. So who knew? If I am, not that I ever stay in my pajamas, but in comfies, like loungewear, kind of like loose, comfortable like this, I end up binging food, coffee breaks all the time, whereas activewear just keeps me productive. Just something about it. So here we go. Oh no. Crikey, this is turning out to be a bit of a fail. This was on a small hanger, but I've got it and it's an extra small. Extra small, I am definitely not. I'm sure I'll try it on, hopefully get it on for the purpose of showing you what it looks like on. However, I'm thinking I may need to exchange that for a small. And do you know what? I might even exchange these ones if I like them because of that pull on the back, which is a bit annoying. So I might be going back to exchange those i did pick up jeans and i got them in two sizes so i'm again thinking i was going back anyway to exchange uh, not to exchange to return one of these so these are the style of jeans that i got i did actually vlog them uh because they're just such a lovely style and a trend style at the moment i would say these barrel leg jeans but i do quite like them i just don't know how they're gonna look on me as someone who is naturally a bit bigger on the bottom so we will see how we go. I did pick them up in both an, a 10 and a 12, because I'm kind of like, I am more of a 10, I would say, but sometimes with jeans, uh, if they're gonna be super tight and uncomfortable, I end up just not wearing them. So I thought I would get a 12 for comparison and see which one fits me best as to whether or not I will keep these. I mean, like I said, I might even like this style on me, but I've been loving seeing this barrel leg trend and also they had these barrel leg styles in a bit more distressed these ones are just like plain and simple they had them in like a, a cream as well a couple of different colors so we will try those and see how we go okay i also speaking of comfort got a pair of comfy trousers again just to pair with like a basic white tee for around the house just lounging more of a sunday type attire this um, pair of trousers in a small at £10. I thought £10 was a good price. I have noticed, I think Primark are listening to our feedback of Primark prices keep going up and up and up. I noticed quite a few kind of more basic items at a more budget price point, like joggers, for instance. Oversized joggers, super soft, comfy, just plain and simple at seven pounds. And I thought that's getting closer to what Primark used to be like. And same with these sort of um, trousers that you could dress up, dress down. I think 10 pounds is pretty good for these. They're a bit of a flowy leg and kind of like a slight ribbed as well. So yeah, got those to try for just lounging in. That's a bit more of a smarter option than a jogger. And then I also picked up this bodysuit. I kind of wish they'd have had more colors in this. This is from the Rita Aura range again. And they had a couple of bodysuits, but I thought this one was the best made. It has the front panel is double lined. The back isn't, annoyingly. Um, but with the front one being double lined, I feel like you could easily go braless with this. And it's got like these thin elasticated spaghetti straps in this chocolate brown kind of skims style um thong bodysuit and yeah it's got poppers at the bottom this one was eight pounds 
Um, I got it in a small. Yeah, I feel like a black would have been a good staple colour to get in that. Oh, another little home find I got was this little pumpkin. Not that I need any more pumpkins, but at just £3.50. I couldn't resist this little guy. Just a plain and simple straw pumpkin that looks good in like a bowl. It looks good styled up on a coffee table book, on a shelf. So grabbed him. I also got this six pack of claw clips. These are just mini ones that I quite often use this sort of a size to, if I just want to clip my hair back and out of my face and I just take the front pieces like here and just use a little clip there. I only ever need like a small one so I get through these quite quickly because they're just one of those things aren't they? These clips just go missing. <laughs> you throw them in your car, you throw them in a pocket, you throw them in a bag and you just seem to never have enough of these and obviously the colours that they come in as well just nice and simple neutrals £4.50 for those and then I also picked some earrings up now I don't often have a look at the Primark jewellery section and I wear these hug earrings constantly all the time these are the ones that Tom got me for my Christmas present last Christmas and yeah, I'm trying to mix metals a bit more. I mean, my watch, my watch, my watch is by metal, so I think I'm better suited to silvers, even though I'm naturally drawn to golds. But with my colouring and everything, I think silvers suit me better. So I thought I would get a an affordable option of these chunky hoops. Um, they're just a very simple style, three different sort of shapes, but again, chunky little silver hoops one last thing from primark before i move on to the white company i saw this at checkout and it looks they've got a few fragrances that look like they're duping high street brands and this one with the color and the notes sounds a very like a fragrance that i love and that is the abercrombie and fitch fierce cologne the men's cologne smells insane it's kind of like a nostalgic scent for me as well um having loved Abercrombie growing up going into the American stores when we lived there um so it's called Elements Night I mean for £4.50 at worst a room fragrance even if I don't use it as a similar wow it's definitely not Abercrombie but as far as a men's if you like that masculine scent why well, it's quite strong I feel like you don't even need you know sometimes with cheaper perfumes you're like oh I can't really smell it that's quite strong I think that will be lovely as a throw in your bag it's quite masculine though I don't know if it's maybe too masculine for me. It's like, whoa, she's wearing a men's fragrance. An aromatic woody fragrance that teams sandalwood and cedar notes with citrus. Crisp and exhilarating fragrance. Not bad for £4.50. They had one called Noir something as well, which I think was duping the Tom Ford uh, Noir. <laughs> I think it's called Noir. I'll be intrigued to see if that one's similar. Um, okay, let's go to the White Company. Before I show you the White Company, I do have one other box in here, which was a gift from Jo Malone. And speaking of room fragrances, so they emailed me, offered to send me one, very gratefully. And yeah, I thought I would share it with you guys. Lime Basil and Mandarin. I think they have a few different scents that they do with their room fragrances. But this scent is just a classic all year round. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. It's the basil. I'm such a fan of the basil scent. Basil and Neroli is one of my favorite uh, fragrances from Jo Malone that I wear pretty much all summer. And this is lovely. I am almost out of, I've got a molten brown one that I have sat in the spare bedroom that I always like to just have there so that if and when we have people stop over, I've got a linen spray and room spray that I can just spritz before people get here. So I might replace, or oh, once that molten brown one's finished, pop that in the spare bedroom. Okay, yes. I did go to the white company. They have a new scent out, which I really wanted to get my hands on and try and it's called uh it's called Kyoto 
Oud. And this scent is one of their like premium scents. So the oils that they do are 12 pounds as opposed to the standard 10 pound ones. I can't put my finger on it. When I smelt it in store, they didn't have any candles. So I could, you could only really get just a subtle scent from the bottle. It's very subtle, which for the white company, Usually you're hit with the fragrance and you're like, wow, yeah, that's nice. This is very, very warm. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I can't put my finger on it. I guess it's the oud smell that makes it quite like a warming scent. A bit musky, um, which I think will be nice for this time of the year. But um, when I was speaking to the lady in the store about that and she was saying the same, she was like, I don't know, I can't put my finger on it she said her favorite is the portofino and i smelled the portofino and loved it i mean it is a bit more summery i think i'm going to start using this now for the next couple of weeks oh a stunning i might even save it for like spring summer for the new year that is beautiful sorry i'm just in a bit of a trance at the minute all these room breaks <laughs> It reminds me of being in Parma, when I went to Parma in uh, June. Oh, lovely. And then I also got, whilst I was there, a candle and oil for, I'm gonna say October, I might start burning this. I'm nearly out of my autumn candle that I got, the big three wick, just because I burn it every single day and I love it. So to replace it, we got, Fireside. This has to be, I think, my favorite fragrance that the White Company does. I know I say that about all the fragrances. I did get the oil as well. Oh, dreamy. When I say favorite fragrance, oh, yeah, I think it's my favorite. But the reason why I'm like hesitating saying it's my favorite is because I would only burn it October, November, December. I wouldn't burn it in the new year. I wouldn't burn it spring, summer. So I think that's why it's literally, it smells like the fire's been on. So only when the fire gets lit would I use this, which I know some of you guys are probably saying, my fire has already been lit. So yeah, smoked wood, birch and amber. Absolutely beautiful. And then winter, I like more for Christmas, January, February. Cause I think winter as a fragrance is nice throughout the whole of winter it's not just for christmas i like it in january too um but yeah fireside is definitely smoky autumny into winter oh can't wait to burn that um i did also get one other thing but i'm gonna save it for my gift guide videos which is coming up first weekend of november sorry first week of november i have four planned so we have loads of gift gift ideas coming i know some of you like to start shopping christmas gifts early i.e now like i am but in terms of sharing them with you guys i just want to keep sharing awesome content for now with it being my favorite season i don't want to jump ahead too quickly so any kind of gift ideas i'm putting to one side and saving for the first week of november so yeah i have a new in find from the white company that i just think is the perfect stocking filler yeah, I'm going to say stocking filler, like a bougie stocking filler. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking gift guide for him, for her this year, a stocking filler one, B&M one, pets one, maybe combine the two. Um, but any, again, any small businesses that want to reach out and want to be included, let me know. Just message me on Instagram. Um, any small businesses that you've shopped yourself or unique ideas fire them over guys i have seen my inbox filling up with all of your recommendations and suggestions they've not gone unnoticed so thank you um keep sending those over but yeah thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you have enjoyed it do give me a thumbs up if you have subscribed for more and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys